Moving on to Fred Olsen now. This is another new reduced price. Mm. You've bought us some wonderful deals this week. Let's have a little look on board the Black Watch. So this is uh, another leg of the world, uh, the world cruise, the Black Watch. Um, oh, right. And, and we, we featured a leg a couple of weeks ago, and it proved very, very popular. So we're, we're now giving you a chance to try you another part of the leg. You go to different places, don't you, when you do something like this? Yeah, because you're not, you're not, you don't have to go in a circle, basically. You know, you, you, you can go from, you can start at point A and you can reach point B. So it's B. a more unusual yeah, cruise. Yeah, definitely. And you can get a, more, a bigger variety of ports. Black Watch, of course, the most famous of the Fred Olsen uh, ships. Um, very traditional cruise line. Very uh, friendly, aren't very they? Very friendly, yeah. We're looking at kind of almost, you know, kind of diff very different spectrum to MSC that we just featured here. This is traditional British cruising, um, great British-style entertainment, um, really friendly service. They've got the highest repeat passenger ratio in the in the industry. People do go back again uh, and again and very again. Very loyal following, yeah. Um, they have dance dance hosts on board if you're if you're travelling and you, maybe your partner place. doesn't dance or you're travelling on your own. Um, really good guest lectures on board. It's like that old time cruising, isn't it? How it do you is. imagine more, cruising? More to traditional, be? more traditional hmm. wood panelled ships, smaller ships, more intimate. They can get to to more unusual ports. Which is wonderful. A huge saving on this. You're saving five hundred pounds off the normal brochure price. And let's have a little look at where we're going. We fly first of all to Jordan. Yeah, now I mean I'm a big fan. I, I spent two or three seasons cruising uh, out of Aqaba. Uh, right. And amazing. Well, cruise, cruising out of Shamrock Lake into Aqaba, do overnights there. This is an amazing port. Um, this is your chance to go through to the Wadi Rum, the famous desert area, uh, the, within the Pillars of Creation where Lawrence of Arabia made his name. Um, you've also got, of course, the mighty uh, Rose Red City Petra. Uh, which is one of the most stunning places, featured in the Indiana Jones movie, of course, the, the library there yes, is situated yes. there, finds the Holy Grail, and it's just absolutely stunning. You can head out to the Dead Sea from here as well, uh, and Fabulous. get that wonderful, you know, kind of picture of you floating upside down with a, a paper. Um, great beaches, and amazing for scuba diving. I had some of my best dives ever uh, through Aqaba. Really good, small, small uh, marine life here, uh, like tiny oh, wow. sea slugs and, uh, oh, and frogfish galore. So if you're a diver, you know what I'm talking about. You love this area as well. Stunning. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea. And where are we moving on to? Uh, yeah, then, well, well, a relaxing day at sea, then you're going to go up the Gulf of Suez into, ah, the, right. Suez, into the Suez Canal. Fabulous. Um, and this is an incredible experience in itself. Uh, one, of the, one of the great waterways, uh, basically 101 miles long, opened in 1869, and it allows ships, of course, to travel between Europe and Asia without having to go around Africa. Um, stunning opportunity. As you're going through, it will almost seem like the, the ship is sailing through the desert. It's, I've gone through the Panama Canal and it is, it's unbelievable. You can't believe you can fit through. Well, this through. is it. Yeah, well, the Panama Canal has the locks, obviously. Suez doesn't have the locks, but you, you, it's very, you know, it has a big crossing cent area in the centre right. of the Bitter Lake, the Great Bitter Lake. But it's an amazing experience and you're going to see wreckage of various conflicts all on the side, people Fabulous. waving at you, uh, you know, camels galore, lots of sand. It's good fun. So that is a, a real, real treat. Yeah. Then we're moving on. We've got another relaxing day at sea, and then we're on to Crete. Yeah, we are. Heraklion. Um, this is great. This is the old, old, the old uh, shaking hands with the new in, in, in the capital of the, uh, of the island. I love Crete. I love this place. Great chance for you to go out to Knossos Palace, where the story of the Minotaur and Ariadne comes from. If you are going to go and explore Knossos, though, do take a ball of thread just in case you get lost. Um, <laughs> the thing I would say about it is, as well, you can go and enjoy having a nice cream in Lake Vusalimi, uh, which is gorgeous, bottomless lake, where apparently all the Germans sank their, their tanks when they evacuated the area. Um, oh, gosh. Spinalonga Island, you can head out to a, one, of the, one of the last remaining leper colonies. You can head out to where that was based, um, which is really, really incredible. You can go to Rethimon, and of course, the Pato of La which is gorgeous, which is an oak-studded plateau with over a thousand windmills, uh, and it's um, their works of art. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's so much history, so much beauty, just wonderful places. Yeah, it's a really beautiful island. I love it. I love it for the food, but I won't talk about that. Then, <laughs> no, then tell us about the food. A relaxing day at sea. A relaxing day at sea eating. Have you there eaten? you go, Keith. <laughs> yeah. And then we go on to somewhere where I've I've spent six months of my life for, for a couple of years. And Malta, Malta, which I well, love Malta. You know, you know Malta. It's, it's stunning Malta. island, isn't it? I mean, uh, to sail into Valletta, as I always say, it's like sailing into something out of uh, a Tolkien novel or film. You it know? is. Um, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, you can go and visit the Grand Master's Palace here. Um, you can go and visit the massive cathedral, St John's Cathedral. Uh, go through to Medina, which is inland, which is uh, a wonderful uh, medieval city, which is moated, which is just inland a bit. Actually, so it even predates Valletta itself. But Valletta... Built by the Knights of St John, it's like a massive playground. If you, if you love, if you read medieval fiction like I do, it's a playground for you because it's like a massive fortified castle, uh, it is. and it's just absolutely stunning. Great local market, 
um, and a great chance for you to go and see where Oliver Reed had his last ever round. Um, he ordered like some, I can't remember, I did have it written down, but he ordered like 21 rums and half a bottle of, half a bottle of vodka and all this. Because they were, they were filming <laughs> no Gladiator No wonder it was time. his last round. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we move on. Love Malta, couldn't, couldn't say more good things about it. We've got a couple of Rackless in Days at Sea, and then we move on to Gibraltar. Yeah, great place, of course. Uh, the wonderful White Cliffs there of Gibraltar. It's a natural fortress, been fought over for many years. It's, it's actually, it's unique for other ways as well. There's over 600 varieties of flower that, that, that are unique to the island. Some aren't found anywhere else. Oh, on gosh. Earth. Um, and it's a gorgeous place, as you know. You can get the cable car right up to the top, uh, go and see the, the tailless apes, the Barbary apes, as they're known. There's, uh, there we are. That's not me. That's one of the apes. And <laughs> the great thing here is, is you've actually got the caves as well. So you can go, go through to uh, the different caves and explore the tunnels, the siege tunnels from the World War II and also from before that as well, from the 18th century, uh, from the great siege of Malta. Um, and that's the cathedral cave. The acoustics are absolutely that stunning. That looks and it's incredible. Even better, it's got a Mark Spencer, so you can get some Percy pigs, and it's really good for duty free. What in that cave? That's amazing. Not in that <laughs> cave, no. <laughs> you have to go into. <laughs> <laughs> then we move on to Spain. Yes, uh, Cadiz. I love this place. It's my personally, it's my favourite of the Spanish ports. Um, it's one of the oldest inhabited places, cities in the world, dating back to 1100 BC. It uh, gives you your chance to go through to Seville and, of course, the wonderful orange blossom uh, flamenco um, style of, uh, of this part of Andalusia, which is gorgeous. Um, but for me, it's all about Cadiz, the walled gardens, uh, the wonderful kind of close, intimate houses that lean in like they're whispering and conspiring oh, as wow. you walk around. It's got a lovely little flower market in the centre. Oh, beautiful. Then we're moving on to Portugal, another favourite place that I've worked in, which is just incredible. Yeah, draped across seven hills, gorgeous maritime uh, empire, um, great chance. It's full of neoclassical buildings and wide plazas. You get there around by the wonderful uh, system of trams, the bright yellow yes. trams. You can head out down on the seafront, number 15, to down here for the Monument of Discoveries that you're seeing here in the Bellum Tower. The best view is St George's Castle, and um, definitely go up there and then get tram 28 from there and it will just help you explore everywhere. It's Fabulous. Amazing. Two relaxing days at sea and I'm afraid you do have to come back to Southampton, which of course means you can do a bit of, bit of shopping as well because you've got no extra hand luggage or luggage. <laughs> now we're moving on to have a look at the actual cruise ship itself, which is beautiful. Yeah, again, very, very popular, very, very big following for the Black Watch. Just the Black Watch, not only Fred Olsen, but this particular ship. Um, the one date here on the 23rd of April, you're going to get a really great British product surrounded by people that you're going to make really good lifelong friends with um, and a really great entertainment on board. It is that classic cruise and fabulous prices as well. Did you know, as I was saying, 2012, it was voted best for entertainment. Was it really? Yeah, I can believe by it. Cruise Critic. So um, okay, it gives you an idea. No, really can believe it. You're getting so much money there. Huge savings, saving over £900 off your brochure price. So easy to sort that out on the phones or the website, but do sort out as well your excursions while you're talking to the team on the phones or while you're checking out on the website because it's so important to get those excursions booked up. Particularly places like Akaba, absolutely, which you, you've got to go and see Petra. You really do, or the Wadi Rum.